Have you ever pondered the mysteries of the universe, the vastness of space and the structures that inhabit it? In this cosmic expanse, galaxies group together in clusters, forming awe-inspiring superclusters. This brings us to the marvel of the SSA-22 Protocluster Supercluster. Picture a colossal city of galaxies, a metropolis millions of light-years across. That's the SSA-22 Protocluster Supercluster for you. But let's break this down a bit. Just as cities are composed of neighborhoods, the universe is composed of galaxies. These galaxies, like houses, don't stand alone. They group together in what we call clusters. Now imagine these clusters as neighborhoods. When enough of these neighborhoods come together, they form a city, or in our case, a supercluster. The SSA-22 Protocluster Supercluster is one such city. It's one of the largest known superclusters, located billions of light years away from us. But distance doesn't make it any less significant. This supercluster is like a bustling metropolis of the cosmos, a hotbed of activity where new galaxies are constantly being formed. So you see, the SSA-22 isn't just a cluster of galaxies, it's a dynamic, ever-changing entity, a place where the raw materials of the universe come together to create something new. It's like watching a city grow and evolve, but on a cosmic scale. So, in essence, the SSA-22 Protocluster Supercluster is a massive celestial city bustling with new galaxies being born. But why does this distant supercluster matter to us? Well, the SSA-22 Protocluster Supercluster isn't just an astronomical marvel, it's a cosmic laboratory. Studying such grand structures helps researchers delve into the mysteries of the universe's evolution and the intricate process of galaxy formation. These colossal cosmic entities offer invaluable insights, shedding light on the cosmos's past, present, and future. So, the SSA-22 Protocluster Supercluster isn't just a distant cosmic spectacle, it's a key to unlocking the secrets of our universe's past, present, and future.